Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus gave himself up for you. On the cross, on his journey to the cross, spirit, mind, even his body, he gave it all up for you because he loves you. Last week we began our walk with Jesus to the cross, watching him, looking at his eyes. What did Jesus see? What were the thoughts behind his eyes? Well, Jesus saw denial and betrayal. That same betrayal he sees in us when we sin. But what are the thoughts behind his eyes? Does he reject us? You're all sinners, get out of my sight. No, the thoughts behind his eyes are ones of compassion and forgiveness. Because he loves you. Now, as we continue to watch Jesus go to that cross, we look at a different part of his body, his mouth. What did he say because he loves us? Or maybe, what did he not say? While Jesus was being denied by his best friend, he was surrounded by priests and the chief priests who were just chomping at the bit to find any excuse to get Jesus to die, to kill him, to put him on the cross. Back in those days when you were on trial, you needed a witness of two people, two people to agree in an accusation for you to be convicted. And so those priests were getting together, throwing out accusation after accusation, trying to find something that would stick all being overseen by Caiaphas, the high priest. Now, who was Caiaphas? Uh, That's a Bible study for another day. But what's important to know about Caiaphas is that he was the one who got the ball rolling. He was the one who began the plot to kill Jesus. In fact, Caiaphas was the one, the Bible records, who said, it is better for one person to die in the place of the whole nation unknowingly prophesying what Jesus was there to do. Die on that cross for the sins of all people. For you. After some time, eventually the priests got together and found an accusation they could agree on that multiple people came forward with. This man said he could tear down this wonderful temple of ours and rebuild it in three days. And Caiaphas looks at him and says, what do you have to say for yourself? How do you defend yourself? And what does Jesus say? Nothing. As we just heard in Isaiah... Like a sheep before the slaughter remained silent, so he opened not his mouth for you. He could have defended himself better than the best defense lawyer out there, but he chose not to. In fact, the only time he does open his mouth is to give Caiaphas an excuse to get him to that cross. I adjure you, answer this question in the name of the living God. Are you the Christ? You have said so. And Caiaphas says, we have him now. You're a dead man, Jesus. And these people, these priests, who said they worship the one true God, spat on him, struck him, mocked him. And Jesus did this all for these priests and for you. I have no doubt as spit was going down his face, as the bruises began forming around his mouth, he thought of you and his great love for you. You see, Jesus was not <laughs> a hypocrite. In that council, he was probably the only one who wasn't a hypocrite. For he taught love, 
Love your neighbor. Care for each other. If someone hits you on the side of the face, you turn the other cheek. You remember that one? He also taught, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Well, jumping ahead to the crucifixion when Jesus is on that cross and He opens His mouth once again, what does He say? Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Jesus loves his enemies. And we look at ourselves, drenched in sin, covered in the dirt of the world, so opposed to the things of God, it can be easy to call ourselves enemies of God. But it's for us that Jesus died. Because Jesus made an intercession for us to the Father, opening his mouth out, opening up his mouth, saying, Father, forgive him, forgive her. We know that we are forgiven. We know that we are loved. And we know that we will see Jesus face to face. We are a part of this story to the cross. And it's as tough as it may be to hear, it is good news. It is a good Friday because Christ paid the price so that we might be able to see our God and live. All because of Jesus, His holy and precious name. Amen. We continue our worship by confessing.